So uh, what we mean by quantum future as we, we have it now, um, essentially quantum uh, phenomenon has been used in our daily lives already. So this goes back more than 100 years uh, when Einstein you know, and other great uh, physicists discovered the laws of quantum physics. Uh, what we have today in our cell phones, uh, the semi semiconductor chips, the lasers we use, all use quantum phenomena. Now, the quantum future that we are talking about, and this is uh, synonymous with the second quantum revolution, is the ability to control and manipulate each and single quantum bit, we call it. Uh, it can be a photon, a single particle of light, it can be an atom. So in the past, uh, the lasers and semiconductors we use, we call it uh, bulk properties of quantum physics, uh, which is a... Cons uh, 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 ensemble of quantum uh, right. of auto atoms and, and photons, okay. now we are able to control and manipulate individual particles. And that's what's, herald, uh, that's what's interesting, and, mm -hmm. what, and recently that's what we're talking about, the quantum future. Mm -hmm. um, now, the ability to control these individual particles have great uh, technology implications mm -hmm. from quantum computers, uh, with the likes of Google, IBM, and other uh, big companies mm -hmm. building a physical uh, uh, quantum computer to quantum communication where spectral is playing in or, or, or participating in to secure um, the current communication networks using these properties for added you know, security layer or added encryption layer. I can describe the technology a little bit more in detail. Yeah. But as spectral, uh, particularly, uh, we are uh, focusing on uh, securing uh, the current telecommunication infrastructure against any quantum computing attacks. Mm -hmm. So now, the, uh, uh, with a large enough quantum computer, uh, you can do many interesting things like uh, solving optimization problems for financial industry uh, and so on and so mm -hmm. forth. But one of the things that a quantum computer can do uh, is essentially it will break all the encryption, almost all the encryption oh, algorithms yes, that's that, right. that yeah. we have we, today. We, we want to talk about that later. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so we'll touch on this. Uh, we'll go a little bit more detail into this 50, the significance behind 55 kilometers because I understand that photons, yeah. right, uh, the uh, ability for them to hold their proper properties uh, uh, slowly sort of uh, dissipates over yeah. some distance. Correct. But before we do that, can you just briefly tell us, you know, how different is using quantum technology to secure fiber networks? How is, how, how is that different from the way we are securing fiber uh. networks today? Right, so today's uh, encryption uh, uh, primarily uses a mathematical-based algorithm mm. uh, to, to either exchange keys or to secure the communication. Now, this uh, whenever it's a mathematical-based algorithm, there's a certain structure behind it. Mm -hmm. And uh, essentially, in the 1994, uh, there's a physicist called Peter Shaw invented an algorithm, a quantum algorithm. Oh, Shaw's algorithm, Shaw's right? algorithm, right. that's right, that's yes. right. Yeah. That coupled with a large enough quantum computer mm. would be able to break this type of mathematical uh, structure. Mm -hmm. And that's the threat that we are talking about, right? The quantum computing threat. Um, so today's encryption uh, algorithms in light of uh, a quantum computer mm -hmm. and Shaw's algorithm wouldn't be safe anymore. Uh, by using quantum key distribution, uh, we are literally trans embedding Right. The secret keys okay. into single particles of light and transmitting it across right. uh, fiber optics see, cable to the end users. Right. So we don't need the mathematics anymore. Yeah. Not, right. not with this uh, structure. Oh, that's uh, difficult to imagine. Um, so much of the public key cryptography is based on this uh, mathematical sort of uh, encryption uh, approach. So yes. Yeah, so let's talk about